Okay, so the first thing we need to do is insert the SD card into the computer. If you have an SD slot, uh, that makes things simple. Um, otherwise, you would have to get a adapter, like a USB SD to USB adapter. The eye level has um, a standard SD card size, and the bomb has the micro SD card. So for the bomb, you might have to get a um, adapter for your micro SD card. So once you insert the SD card into your computer, uh, you're gonna see some files depending on the file format that you had selected prior to your flight. Uh, you can have CSV format, which is uh, comma separated values. Uh, you can open in Excel. And you have uh, GPX, which you can open in Google Earth. And then you have FDR, which you open in Explain Simulator. So today I'm going to show you how to open the Excel file and the GPX files. So the easiest one would be our CSV. If you have inst uh, Excel installed on your computer, you just double click and it will automatically open it in Excel. And, and that's it. You can see the, um, all the data in all the columns. Uh, starting from time, date, uh, UTC time, that's your, that's all coming from the GPS, latitude, longitude, all the, all the GPS data is there, or all the AHAR data is here, roll, pitch, yaw, heading, um, everything, and then some other parameters like accelerometers and rates and, and all of that. Uh, you can do charts with this data, uh, I'm not going to go into that, but basically that's how you open um, a CSV file on your computer. Then for the GPX file, um, I use uh, Google Earth because it's free, and so I'm going to go ahead and open Google Earth. And I'll show you how to import a file into Google Earth. Uh, we're gonna click OK. I'm gonna go to Tools, GPS, and then this little window pops up. You have Import, and you're gonna select Import from File here. Um, uh, you can leave this as it is. And I normally take this out and say import. Now it's gonna prompt you to look for your files. So I'm gonna look for my folder called SD card Ananda. And it recognizes the GPX format only. Click open. And it's gonna say loaded one track with how many points your data file has and uh, this is our flight uh, you can see um, everything all the data points i normally go this is a trick that i can show you to temporary places this is where your your data file is if you right click on that and say get info okay on this pop-up window go to altitude and then I say extend to ground and what that does is it gives me a three-dimensional um, let me see if I can show you so it it plots, um, it extends the altitude to the ground, so you can kind of see it like a roller coaster. If we, um, if we go to the, here, this is our takeoff and landing patterns. Um, so there you have it. That's uh, how you open a GPX file on Google Earth. You can also do this on your Mac, uh, sorry, on your, on your PC, this is a Mac. 
and it's the same way and if you are using a uh, tablet to open the files let's say you have Excel or Google Earth uh, on your on your Apple devices um, you can use the Ahars utility app once you you load a flight I'll, I'll do a second video for this but just so you know um, you can you can also open the files on your tablet um, hope this was helpful uh, check out other videos on our website this is Ananda on how to videos for level aviation Thank you.